Well, you can join in all the debates, uh, morning's debates, logging on to bbc.co.uk slash the big questions. Follow the link to the online discussion. Tweet using the hashtag BBCTBQ. And tell us what you think about our last big question. Does social media reveal men's hatred for women? Now, if you'd like to be in the audience at a future show, email audiencetbq at menton.tv. We are going to be in Edinburgh next week, Bradford on January the 31st, Southampton the week after that. Well, 45 years ago, in that uh, feminist primer, still worth reading, the female eunuch, uh, Germaine Greer, argued that women did not realise how much men hate them. They know now. The advent of social media sites like Twitter and Facebook has displayed some men's views of some women to a worldwide audience. A lot of it is very nasty. Rape threats, death threats made even against a recently a woman whose only crime was to support an X Factor contestant. Does social media reveal men's hatred for women? Uh, Kate, you, I mean, you're on this programme. You made a comment when you were on this programme uh, last time. I can't even remember what, what it was, but as ever, it was interesting, it was controversial, it was it stimulating. Wasn't, it wasn't. It was a tiny little comment. What did you say? Um, uh, I, it was just about, about the way that somebody was being addressed. But, so let's just do this. And so, what's happened to you as a result of it? Well, so first of all, let's just start at the top. Does social media reveal uh, men's... I mean, absolutely, of course it does. And we've known that these attitudes are out there for a long time. Um, and social media does, does exactly that. It's always done that. It takes all these opinions from around the world. And it, but it actually does a lot more than that as well. Um, the other thing that it does um, is it allows people to access you um, when, when, you sh when you should be safe in your home. You know, suddenly, once upon a time, if there were 100 people gathered outside your house shouting at something at you, you would have called the police and it would have been dealt with. But, in, but these days, because of social media, People from all over the world, people you would otherwise probably not go anywhere near, um, are able to, to, to get to you, as it were. So how, what was it like for you when you were so after So what happened that for me was that I was on this show about a year ago, um, and, um, and we were in a debate about gender equality uh, with Milo, and, um, oh, and yeah, what happened yeah. was that afterwards... Um, uh, I received, um, in 48 hours, I received 165 pages of Twitter abuse, including about 20 rape and death threats, including uh, unpleasant comments about my appearance, lots and lots of those. Because of what you said to, to Milo over uh, here? Uh, well, not because, I mean, but, I mean, many of them were from Milo, many of them were egged on by him, many of them were encouraged by him, many people were, were retweeting him, um, and, uh, you know, my, my head photoshopped onto unattractive bodies, this kind of thing, um, pictures of me manipulated um, to, to look horrible or whatever. And the fact is that I'm not the first or the last person to have been on the receiving end of this kind of onslaught. And these are not people well, questioning from, from what it said. Um, from, from, from me and from a, a group of people that he, that he supports and encourages. And, you know, if I was in that situation and supporters of mine were to say, were to do this kind of thing, I would, of course, turn around and say, hey, this is not cool, this is not okay. But instead of which, you know, egged on by a community of a deep-rooted misogynist, this is the world that we now live in. And it's not just me, lots and lots of women have been affected by this, including, including teenagers, including women from all around the world. Okay, Milo. It's about time we addressed it. What? <laughs> what have you turned into? <laughs> what have you turned I into? I used to be such you're a nice of, young man. Well, you it's did. You're, 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 some, you're a kind it's... of Führer of the Furious now. <laughs> You, how can you you've said a major it's general of misogyny. It's what? hard to believe, isn't it, that this... Uh, well, this why have your army reacted like that? You can't support those comments. No, of course not. But here's the thing. I understand why Kate doesn't understand how fame works, but I do. Um, and the thing is, you know, I'm not particularly interested in a professional provocateur who goes out and says deliberately outrageous things, like I do, turning around and then playing the victim when she doesn't like uh, ridicule or criticism I afterwards. Don't say anything outrageous, ridicule, I let me finish. I let you human finish. Rights. I let you finish, so stop. Um, you know, no. after um, she lost the debate, as feminists very often do these days, because they've got on facts on their side, um, you know, she turned around and she did what feminists always do, which is confect a sob story. Now, Kate is, like me, a professional provocateur, but only one of us no, plays the victim afterwards. True. Now, it's interesting, um, you know, if we get back to the question, it's interesting that, um, you know, that, that it's even being framed like this at all. Because what the research shows, the Pew Global data from 2014 shows, is that actually it's men who get more abuse online than women. It is no, men it who get more uh, death threats. It's men who get more violent threats. This, the only thing that women beat men at, and this is Pew Global data, is the gold standard of research. The only thing that women beat men in is, st is cyber stalking. And guess what? A lot of the people doing the stalking are other women. What social media this shows is not true. isn't 
that men hate women. It's that women hate everyone. Okay. And that women, <laughs> women, women are oh. the wait, 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 wait. Let wait. me just finish this. Let me finish. Right. The, let me finish this point. I'll, I promise. That's I'll be outrageous quick. thing. To I say. promise. I've got that. I'm going to qualify. I'm going to explain what I mean by that. Right. right? It's amazing. Not how only a man. Not, not only. I'm going to get to you. Okay. Explain that to my four daughters. What you just said. Not only. Take the camera off. Not only. This is. Not only. A free speech. Not only free speech it doesn't mean, well, I mean it's you... not outrageous. Well, we'll talk about your free speech about uh, yeah, Tim Hunt in a minute. Um, not only are men the primary this victims. This is the man who Not said, only are men the primary victims. This is the man this, who but women said are the, women are the primary perpetrators. Come on. Wait, who, wait, let him finish. Now, it's interesting, isn't it? Why should we let him finish? How much time? How much time are you giving him? Getting? Okay. How much time are you giving him? Connie. This is the man who went on Twitter recently and said. He wanted somebody assassinated. No, I didn't. Okay. You're a liar. Yeah. And you lied about Tim Hunt. I, I you said you lied about Tim Hunt, and now you're lying about me. You are, he you are please, my love. Let Connie. You let Connie. You are listen. You are a fraud, if I, and you are if, a liar. If I were to leave you all, if I were to walk out the studio now and leave you all to it, you may have would ensue. Nicky, if you were to walk out the studio, I would come with you. Because I don't believe you should be giving airtime to someone. Connie, you are a liar. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want silence. I want silence. I want us all to enjoy just a little. 10 second window of silence and then we can all calm down. No talking for 10 seconds. Kate, what were you going to say? What I was going to say is that I, you know, I don't want this to be a debate about one individual. I think it's a shame that people give airtime to somebody uh, you know, whose views and whose completely horrific statements have been so widely seen and we should it's be no better. It's good to challenge them, isn't it? the point is that there is a huge, huge weight of and young women especially who go out and speak up online are facing a, a huge backlash and I think it's very frightening. I'm often asked to do things like go into schools and, and, and teachers always want me to go in and encourage young women to speak up and express themselves and I, I'm forced to say I don't actually think that young women are stupid I don't think that when they don't express themselves it's because they're they're all bashful and nervous and they don't know what to say I think that they know what social media is really like I think the facts are pretty what a plain to see view of women. and I Can sorry I, yeah. and um, and I think that um, that when we, if we want young people to speak out and to feel comfortable um, expressing themselves, then what we need to do is make the internet okay. a place where they can do so. And that means bringing in sensible laws and training the police More to deal with these kind of things. And um, there's well, a sort of echo in the background. Well, I'm going to come to you in a minute. And Connie, I'm going to come to you for a nice little um, bit in a minute. We need the Very police quickly. to be trained how to deal with this. We need straightforward training on what, sh you know, when to act and when not to act to make sure that, that the worst things, the rape and the death threats, the horrific harassment and abuse is dealt with. And I think that when we see a few high-profile individuals, yeah, perhaps yeah, including yeah. some yeah. in this studio, locked up. It'll Let's be time for other people <laughs> right. to back off. Okay, and I very, very much no. look forward to that day. All right, Milo, I'll come to you. Connie, I'm going to come to you in just a second. Okay? That's all right. And I'll, we'll, we'll have a... Yeah, you can't. You can't. You were going to come back right. in. Yeah, let me no, 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 over here. Someone has to um, reveal how very similar these two arguments are because what actually both Milo and Kate are saying is that people can be made to feel victimised and um, very nervous and scared of the internet, um, whether that be men or women. But actually, I want to pull, and it's, it's both kind of very pathetic view of how people deal with insults and words because really most people, especially on Twitter, no, I'm about when they receive this kind of rap, about rape and death. When they, yeah, rape, and rape, rape and death threats are bad, but when they receive this kind of rubbish on Twitter, they block or they ignore. And I really want to pick up on this idea what, that women, that, please, Kate, let us. It's very, it, it's very telling. That's kind of you know, this is what happens. Middle class women decide that they want to take on the plight of women and that women are victimised. <laughs> women can't handle the internet. It's absolutely ridiculous and disgusting and sexist and patronising to say that women can't well, handle the internet. Racist, the internet should yeah. never be a safe space. The internet should, that women should be able to experience everything about public life. We fought for that throughout history and here's somebody who wants to shut us away from it. Okay, well listen, here's the plan. Here's the plan. I'm going to go from Connie to Connie. We're going to hear Connie's story and I'm going to get Milo to respond. And then Kate, we'll get another. Please know uh, more about from... these egomaniacs. <laughs> no more about egomaniacs as well. And any any audience who want to say something, um, okay, that's that's ideally how it's going to be structured. <laughs> All right, Connie, um, we heard reference to him uh, and the whole situation, the saga there from uh, from Marleyanopolis. Professor Tim Hunt, he made a really not very funny off-taste joke. Uh, and and uh, he did it in a, in a, was it a lecture hall, it was a room full of, uh, in, in, in South Korea. 
some would say it wasn't hugely offensive, got worldwide attention, ultimately nothing to do with you, but he, he lost his job, but you had drawn people's attention to it. Um, but then you, the reaction to your reaction was just extraordinary. What have you gone through? So this has been really dreadful, and it's kind of exhibited here by the way Milo felt he could just shout abuse across the studio at me. And um, I think what's really interesting about this is that it's... It, it's not about whether how people use the, the, the Twitter. It's about people trying to maintain a political status quo. So a lot of what goes on, there are people in America like Rush Limbaugh who have a very right-wing ideology. And that means they don't want to hear from women. They don't want to hear from people of other colors. They don't want to hear other, any other contra uh, contrasting conservative view. And these people are very loud and these people are very determined to shut a lot of people up. So I report something, I'm a journalist, I can report things, and in the end, in order to protect some stupid comment, then I have to be discredited. I don't have to be discredited, I did nothing wrong, I'm not a liar, I'm not, I don't have to even defend myself. As a journalist, I can put a story out there. What it happened was to you? What kind of abuse had, did you have online? So I, had, and I didn't just have abuse online, I had um, lots of letters sent to my office that were very racist. People would phone me up and scream really racist things. They would send me pictures of monkeys hanging in trees with, with um, uh, saying, go back to your hunt, hunt, your hut, go back to your jungle. Um, you're not welcome here. It's like we are back 50 years in the racial uh, economy of this country. People are really crude and it's very sad for people like me who've been here and you're trying to make things different for the next generation. And there's no change. This country is just as racist, just as white male privileged as it has always been. Some people. These are some people. This is, uh, yes. these, are, these are people who never say it to your face. They're keyboard they warriors, aren't they? They never say it to your face, and they always say all these abusive things. They won't stand up and own their it's statements. It's a minority of men. And it's, it's, not, it's not about it's hatred. It's, 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 it's a minority it's, of men. This is victim, I, this is a hang on. No, no, it's hundreds and thousands of men if you're trying to... Um, but there are millions the of men. Right? So yeah. it's a, it's a, you know. If you... If you're uh, going uh, Milo, I said, to, I said we'd come to Milo. I mean, uh, yeah, I know you want I mean, to respond to that. <laughs> but you did this poll online. Um, yes, it is. You, you, yep. What would you rather your child had, feminism or cancer? Yep. And uh, 22,000 people voted, and people voted in favour of cancer. That's a good statistic. Uh, thing. Now, what, what the <laughs> statistics show us is that in just two years, the number of women who identify as a feminist in the US has gone from 28 to 18 percent. The number of uh, British women who identify as feminist has slumped to an all-time low of 7 percent. Why? Because, because, these, are the, because <laughs> these are the because these are the kinds of representatives of feminism: professional provocateurs who play the victim after the fact, and professors of science journalism who misrepresent, deliberately misrepresent statements by Nobel Prize winning scientists in an attempt to end their career, who repeatedly it's lie true, to journalists, it's not true. repeatedly lie to journalists, BuzzFeed, not The true. Daily Beast, the BBC, not, all of them have had to issue corrections. All of them, no, you're a liar. All of no, them have had to issue corrections no, over BBC statements you made. People can just look this up. And this, and this, of course, and this of course is a professor, a professor of science journalism who fabricated her CV as well. We have to get a response from that. This audience is, in a minute, put your hands up so I know where to come. If you're not going to let me make the case, I Well, she has to respond to that. Well, I'm going to make specific accusations she can respond to. Throwing back accusations at themselves, I'm sure really not many people are interested in what's going well, on between you three. Because They're not, because, I mean, this, this is what people like this do on Twitter. They create a hubbub around controversial stuff they no, say. This poll, if you're any kind of like intellectual person or with half a brain, you'd laugh at such rubbish. <laughs> This is the whole thing about Twitter and the internet. If you're going to be a political person, and journalists are political people, you put out opinion there. And I often put out opinions that people find absolutely abhorrent and disgusting because they don't agree with me. It's and the, the, over, the emotional overreaction to that comes in the form of, you're fat, you're this, all horrible stuff. Yes, and it's unpleasant. But the whole point is, 
as you're taking that risk a to step out into from a tree. Ella, yeah, I mean, I'm not condoning. Feminist, I'm not condoning this. But you are. No, I'm not condoning this. But what? No, what do we ask? Please. What do we ask? Okay, Milo. Milo's great. Wait, call me in a second. Do we bring more laws and regulations? Milo, a monkey hanging from a tree. I'm being completely mischaracterised because I'm very much on. I'm very much on your your camp on free speech thing. It is disgusting and deplorable. Or it's disgusting and deplorable why anybody would want to send anybody that kind of racist abuse. It's awful. I would never want to be in the same room as somebody like that. <laughs> However... And yet they're your followers and your fans. You've However... Just you, don't, and you don't even have Let's a to hear the... the it's not However... About you. However... However... I am not responsible for what other people put on Twitter. 150,000 people follow me on Twitter, 50,000 on YouTube, 75,000 on Facebook. Amazing. I am yeah, not responsible as I am not responsible <laughs> as a public figure for what, for what a tiny minority of idiots say to people that I disagree with, yet I'm held accountable for it in a studio, and I was accused of calling for someone's assassination. These are outright, incredible, galling lies from people who have a history of dishonesty. OK, Lacani. We've seen the tweet. Hands up. It. Connie, it's all Connie. over the web. Yes, your, your and, fabricated and TV is all over the web as well. And because it's you term. lied about your bylines, you lied about your qualifications, and you lied Milo. about Tim Hunt. Milo. Milo. Professor Milo. of Science Milo. Milo. should be ashamed Milo. of yourself. Should we let Connie respond to that? Yes. It's easy, Milo. It's pathetic. See? I've got 150,000 followers in the audience. <laughs> yeah, but your account's very Connie. Right, Nikki. Connie. So, Milo just called for somebody to be assassinated. Twitter essentially struck him. He's off. saying he didn't. Yeah. No, I didn't. What was the tweet? Of course, he's lying. What was the tweet? What was the, the wording of the tweet? The, what did it the, say? The, so actually, we don't need to believe everything he's saying. What he's did it particular, say? He's a particular. What did the tweet say? Milo, let's hear Connie. He's a particular kind. You accuse her of crime. She's trying to justify herself. Okay, Connie. He's a particular kind of person that makes his money and his fortune on Twitter, and he and he wants to develop his public persona on Twitter. There's lots of people like him around. How did he uh, call right? for someone's assassination? He called for it on a tweet because somebody challenged Who's him. Who's assassination? And as what was the wording? As a result, Twitter have unverified or de-verified him. Not true. Total lie. And they are now... You, no, you, you wrote about it yourself, not Milo. Really it's really nonsense. Not true. Absolute nonsense. It's just and, not true. And this is... And you this need is to address the allegations. This is you the need kind to... of person that has... has Try to make a fortune and their fame on Twitter because they're desperate. What? And, and, okay. and so, so why do we care and about what? So my my colleague in America, one of my colleagues, Col Charles Blow, is a very very fine com commentator on any rights for the New York Times, and he wrote recently something. And as a result, he also got a death threat. And he said to Twitter, "Isn't it time you take some of these people off Twitter?" And Twitter said. Just contact the police if somebody shoots you. This person threatened to shoot him on Twitter. And people like Milo are those kind of people. And they need to be taken That's off. And they need to be need taken okay. off by quick Twitter. Audience, quick audience, quick audience, quick audience. Quick audience. Yeah. So, gentlemen, stripe your Please make it quick comments. We're coming to the end. Quick comments. Yeah, I think ladies over here who suffered this abuse and all other women mm. and men, and, and just Go for to people to say things again. like, oh, just block them, just delete them, just ignore it. It's, it's terrible. Like, they've been abused. They need to be held I'm behind. Words. Words. They're just words. They're just words. They're just words, so go on. Yeah, I'm just going to say, I mean, social media is, it really is just a petri dish of the entirety of society, really. But I have to say that a vacuous person like this is not representative of men on social media. <laughs> 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 You know, Milo, you were controversialist, uh, you know. Uh, controversialist or egomaniac. I mean, the, the point is... Especially but you defend his Twitter, right to be a controversialist. I defend anybody's right to say anything, and that's the important distinction between um, what I'm saying and what everybody else is saying, is that I think you should be able to say the most abhorrent, the most awful things, because words are words, and especially on Twitter. The only time I would ever be afraid of a man, or a man would ever intimidate me, is if he was threatening my life. Physically, that can't happen on Twitter because it's just words. The amount of stuff that you get, death threats, evil stuff, block them. Be an adult. Are you a girl okay. or are you a woman? Be a girl an adult, or a, okay. please. We've got about, you have got about 40 seconds to respond, Milo, and get the last word in here. No, look, um, very, because there's a lot of accusations. Very, 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 you know, it's time. It's time. Very straight, very straight, Lots of people talking. It's very straightforward. Um, let's, not, let's not make it about me. You've got lying feminists throwing accusations. Who cares? Okay, now we've just been accused. Let's not. The fact, the fact is that the research does not support the premise of this question. It does not support them. 
Uh, it does not support okay. any, any, you any, just any said, of the stuff. Right, you just said lying feminists. Okay, internet, um, internet abuse is a very real thing, and it silences women's nope. voices. It makes women afraid to speak out, and there's no, so many important reasons why they should Kate? be able to. There are young people who have committed suicide because of internet abuse, and yet we have people here who not only support it, but who do Thank it you. themselves. And Thank you. Here, what? No, 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 no. No. Look, thanks for watching. We will see you next week. Tweet away. Facebook has displayed some men's views of some women to a worldwide audience. A lot of it is very nasty. Rape threats, death threats made even against a recently a woman whose only crime was to support an X Factor contestant. Does social media reveal men's hatred for women? Uh, Kate, you, I mean, you're on this program. You made a comment when you were on this program mm -hmm. uh, last time. I can't even remember what, what it was, but as ever, it was interesting. It was controversial. It was it stimulating. It wasn't. It was a tiny little comment. What did you say? Um, uh, I, it was just about, about the way that somebody was being addressed. But, so let's just do this. And so, what's happened to you as a result of it? Well, so first of all, let's just start at the top. Does social media reveal uh, men's... I mean, absolutely, of course it does. And we've known that these attitudes are out there for a long time. Um, and social media does, does exactly that. It's always done that. It takes all these opinions from around the world. The world that we now live in. And it's not just me. Lots and lots of women have been affected by this, including, including teenagers, including women from all around the world. Okay, Milo. It's about time we address it. What? <laughs> what have you turned into? <laughs> what have you turned I into? I used to be such you're a nice young man. Well, you it's did. You're, you're, some, you. you're a kind it's... of furor of the furious now. <laughs> But you, how can you you're sort of the major it's general of misogyny. It's what? hard to believe, isn't it, that this... Uh, well, this why have your army reacted like that? You can't support those comments. No, of course not. But here's the thing. I understand why Kate doesn't understand how fame works, but I do. Um, and the thing is, you know, I'm not particularly interested in a professional provocateur who goes out and says deliberately outrageous things, like I do, turning around and then playing the victim when she doesn't like... Uh, ridicule or criticism I don't say anything Ridicule, let me finish. It. But it actually does a lot more than that as well. And um, the other thing that it does um, is it allows people to access you um, when, when, you sh when you should be safe in your home. You know, suddenly, once upon a time, if there were a hundred people gathered outside your house shouting at something at you, you would have called the police and it would have been dealt with. But, in, but these days, because of social media, people from all over the world, people you would otherwise probably not go anywhere near, um, are able to, to, to get to you, as it were. So how, what was it like for you when you, so you made that So what happened for me was that I was on this show about a year ago um, and, um, and we were in a debate about gender equality uh, with Milo and, um, oh, and what yeah, happened yeah. was that afterwards um, uh, I received, um, in 48 hours I received 165 pages of Twitter abuse including about 20 rape and death threats including uh, unpleasant comments about my appearance, lots and lots of those. Because of what you said to, to Milo over uh, here? Uh, well not because, I mean, but, I mean many of them were from Milo, many of them were egged on by him, many of them were encouraged by him, many people were, were retweeting him um, and uh, you know, my, my head photoshopped onto unattractive bodies, this kind of thing, um, pictures of me manipulated um, to, to look horrible or whatever. And the fact is that I'm not the first or the last person to have been on the receiving end of this kind of onslaught. And these are not people well, questioning from, from what it said. Um, from, from, from me and from a, a group of people that he, that he supports and encourages. And, you know, if I was in that situation and supporters of mine were to say, were to do this kind of thing, I would, of course, turn around and say, hey, this is not cool, this is not okay. But instead of which, you know, egged on by a community of deep-rooted misogynists, this is... Well, you can join in all the debates, uh, morning's debates, logging on to bbc.co.uk slash the big questions. Follow the link to the online discussion. Tweet using the hashtag BBCTBQ. And tell us what you think about our last big question. Does social media reveal men's hatred for women? Now, if you'd like to be in the audience at a future show, email audiencetbq at menton.tv. We are going to be in Edinburgh next week, Bradford on January the 31st, Southampton the week after that. Well, 45 years ago in that uh, feminist primer, still worth reading, the female eunuch, uh, Germaine Greer, argued that women did not realise how much men hate them. They know now. The advent of social media sites like Twitter